Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. Listen up, man. Season 8 is here. The 7-5 viable heights are here. New dribble moves are here. New jump shots are here. New rewards are here. Okay, we're going to go over all that, man. I'm going to be showing y'all the best SIGs, the best playmaking badges to get it done in Season 8. If you want to learn how to dribble, watch my dribble tutorial. It will be linked in the comments or description. And uh, if you want to see me react to the whole season and show basically everything, uh, watch my live stream. There's timestamps and everything. You can get my opinion about all that. And yeah, there's a there's a couple of decent SIGs in this hole, man. I'm going to show y'all the best SIGs for your playstyle, man. This is very important to fully watch. It's very important to watch the dribble tutorial too, bro, because when I play with casuals, uh, randoms y'all see my no squad record bro when i play with y'all well not y'all when i play with a lot of randoms they don't know how to do any type of dribbling they have trash sigs and everything so watch this video share it to help your homies get better at 2k bro okay <laughs> evolution my boy look at that level 40 prize y'all see that season prizes we get a white tee man Basketball, basketball trail, new jump shot meter. This look the same. I guess it's a little skinnier, maybe a little longer. I know y'all like that. The diamond player indicator, man. This stuff is immaculate. Five my team, NBA team green releases. Some new emote packs, okay? How y'all feeling about one through eight? 30 minute, two times XP tokens. 2K needs to listen to your ideas. Your idea is way better than these other dudes on Moses. We got a NASA scarf. Guys, think. 2K, think, think. <laughs> Bro, NASA was originally made to explore the ocean. Then look what just happened. And people that, you know, got disintegrated in the ocean. This is all connected. Wake up. This is not a coincidence. This is the first time they ever had NASA in here. Wake up. Uh-oh. We got the parrot? We got the parrot? The parrot player. One of the best rewards in 2K history. Man, 2K. Wing player indicated. Mm. Season 8 emote pack. Plus one post control. 30 minute two times XP to uh, nice little uh, player panel man god uh, some uh my team shoes <laughs> Woo! And then, and then there's creators that be tweeting out and talking amongst each other every time y'all got y you guys say something's trash you don't give no suggestions and be defended 2k till they die bro weird uh man season eight overalls man nba my team marble sleeves damn uh, some some more player panels <laughs> some more my team stuff damn bro one through 23 you're deleting the game <laughs> why you delete it bro come on man what you mean Tiger not even there. Oh, y'all didn't hear? Next year, don't get the Tiger. Only current. <laughs> but current's just, like, way worse. For uh, next year, y'all only get the badge pattern. Y'all ain't, you know? You don't even get the Tiger, bro. <laughs> Woo! Man, who comes up with this? What do y'all think the person's salary is that comes up with this like they might be making over 100k do y'all know that i don't, I don't think y'all be thinking about stuff like that like they probably make over 100k bro to copy paste and come up with this and not get feedback and really develop rewards for the community that is sad bro plus one driving dunk man one through 29 bro one hour XP token, some more emotes, Michael Jordan, Dynasty, NBA mascots. I guess they're going to give us a free mascot. This is cool. Make at least 150K. That's crazy. Probably 200K. Crazy. Imagine. Rewards have been so bad for so many years. 
And the person that comes up with this is making over 200K. That's crazy. The little effort. J Money, thanks for the follow. That's crazy. 15 Gatorade boost. That's, that's a W. More player panels. Um, some more emotes. Uh, some more my team. 1 through 34, two decent rewards. NASA, because you know people just just in the ocean and got kaboom! You know, so that's why, you know, this is here. It's all connected, bro. It's deeper than you think. This is not a coincidence. NASA was originally in the ocean, exploring the ocean. Use your mind. This is all to promote the documentary. That was not real. It did not happen. Local, thanks for the follow. We got a futuristic helmet. Some of their helmets be cool, but I don't really like this one. To be honest, making all that bread to copy paste stuff easy as that's what I'm saying, but it's like, but it's like, bro, stop. Do something better, bro. Like season eight, two hour XP coin, extra badge point, and four core pattern layout. Someone is 40 already. How? What's above, so below. Real, you are woke. So y'all don't even get the tiger, man. Okay, so look, we got a new dribble style. And uh, it's 92 speed with ball, bro. So it's like, I can't even use it. I don't have no build with 92 speed with ball. Y'all let me know if y'all have a build with 92 speed with ball so I can uh, test this sig out for a fit or something, bro. Y'all let me know down in the comments if this, if this hoe is lit. I doubt it. I have a build with a 90 speed with ball. Uh, if y'all do, hit me up. Let me know. Um, I already tested all these SIGs in the beginning of the year. I don't really think this is nothing to really talk about. So I don't really know where to rank this. If y'all know anything, let me know down in the comments, bro. Now look, your dribble style, man. Chelsea Gray is horrible. You can't even speed boost. The whole development team is garbage. I bet you they didn't even test this out. Next maker's trash. Anyone who flies out there trash. There's so many dribble moves where you can't speed boost out of, and I don't even think they know. You can't speed boost out of this, don't waste. Michael Jordan is the best dribble style, then you can say like Chris Paul and then the Gabby, but Michael Jordan is the one to go with, okay? If you can't get Michael Jordan, you know you can mess with the Gabby. And yeah, Jamari ain't good too, but you can only do the 22 misdirections really on that hoe. Now look, this sig right here, uh, now look, it's actually lit it's actually lit okay there's like a behind the back type of spam you can do with it right it's real ill i wonder what other sigs can, you can work with like this i wish it was for bigger builds but uh since it's like for smaller builds it's hard to give up something like uh steve francis but you know for y'all dribble gods or Someone that just wants to use something new for uh, smaller builds. This is definitely decent, bro. It's real cool, bro. That uh, um, this is horrible. <laughs> Candace Parker, trash. This uh, ain't really about nothing. Donovan Mitchell is up there at the top tier with the T Max. You know the Giannis, etc. It it can actually be like a new. Sig size up, man, to be honest. John Walls, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know. It does like a weird uh, slow stutter thing. So like for comp gameplay, it ain't really. And you get delayed speed boost. Now for signature size ups, Jason Tatum, this is horrible. Um, You can't do your fastest left, right speed boost very fast. The other dribbles are kind of cool and all that but you can't do your normal left right fast okay so this is a no-go another signature size up that was released was damian lillard this is another horrible one um there's a delay when you try to uh burst to the left or the right so it's a uh, it's it's not it's not usable really now this is for big builds i'm i'm gonna show y'all the small build six too don't worry mike bibby is decent it's okay okay your signature size up it's okay um it's a delayed speed boost but you could dribble around quick with it so it's worthless 
um allen iverson you can dribble around with it quick but it's like a delayed speed boost so worthless um kobe white um i think i tried it worthless <laughs> but like dribble god style it could be cool but like comp wise worthless now my favorite size up for a uh, big build is Giannis because you get the fastest speed boost but if you don't like Giannis because you like to um right stick dribble you know stand still dribble then you can use T-Mac or DeRozan or Wade etc Darren Fox but um my favorite is Giannis or T-Mac those are my top two size up escape Allen Iverson it's a decent sig man um I don't like how they be disrespecting the goats uh they should have like the best sigs in the game like they should speed them up faster or make them get like more ankle breakers or whatever but you know um the step back is eh you know but the misdirections are cool you know the turbo cross is cool um it's it's a decent sig it's usable um it got like a behind the back too eh. you know but it's decent you know it's not like low tier like like unusable is decent you know it's cool it's cool but it's like nothing special really the only sig was that uh that other now campbell walker escape can actually be a top tier uh size up package um there used to always be like a speed glitch it kind of come back like um kd in a sense um so it, it and it, it's easier to crab so it can be a new norm you know it, it, it's up there with the uh the kds and all that it's you know good little sig it ain't nothing crazy this is something different to use man now the size up escape this is the best season six dribble move um now finally Y'all can spam the behind the back misdirection and have a, a low ball handle. You usually need like an 89 to get to John Wall, I think, I believe. All you need is an 80 now. So now y'all can rock with this. If y'all want this, it's going to help your combos. Um, It got a decent step back, nothing crazy, but it's not horrible. It has like nice um R2 movements. It's real, it's, it's, it's a nice size up, bro. It's dope. I like it, man. But I don't know if I would put it over the um, KD. May uh, I mean, but it's it's 80 ball handle, right? So yeah, like John Wall, you need 89. Steph Curry, you need 92. Kevin Durant, you need 75. See, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the misdirection, I think, is probably lower than the one they give you on KD, so yeah. You know, test it out. Now, escape size up. This is actually a good escape size up. If y'all want me to drop a dribble tutorial, um, hand cam, just get this uh, video to 500 likes and I got you, my boy. This is actually good, man. It has nice misdirections. It has the Luka step back, which is decent. In 22, you got a speed glitch out of it, but it's still good now. Like, it's actually usable, it's different. But um, besides this, um, I would say John Wall's my favorite. It gives you faster momentums and faster misdirections. If you don't like that, then KD would be second for the escapes and then like Kobe, etc. Um, actually, uh, 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 Kawhi. Now Kawhi, this is kind of cool. Um like the moving cross when you hold r2 and flick it up uh it's cool like uh it does like a nice move maybe that could create space behind a screen or maybe you could really do something with it it seemed like a decent moving cross but still y'all know russ is still on top i'll, I'll always say kevin Durant. ai crossover the uh attack size up version is horrible but um just coming down the court doing it is cool um for legendary players like this it should have like a higher stun effect they can't be doing like top tier people like this i, I don't i don't know 2k tripping right moving crossover j cole this is a okay moving cross it's kind of cool it gives you a different move y'all let me know how y'all feel about it man it's, it's okay still on next gen um 
it's Russell Westbrook, my boy. This Luka moving cross is trash. I don't really like it. The John Wall moving cross is trash. Man, my favorite moving crosses are James Harden, Chris Paul, and Russell Westbrook. You could choose between the, the three, which one you want to pick. Uh, behind the backs, trash, you know. Chris Paul makes you like dribble better, but it's not like a super attack and size up, go crazy thing. Now they finally put the Scotty Pippen, bro. I think this is supposed to be Pro 3. They completely ruined Pro 3 for no reason. This is basically like Pro now. I don't know why they be like ruining moves. It looks like Pro moves faster, bro. So <laughs> 2K, like was was Pro 3, Scotty Pippen, like was it just so game breaking? No, bro. Just upgrade all the other behind the backs y'all always nerf stuff it's horrible 2k i don't know the difference between these two bro so <laughs> i just be picking ai bro uh, you don't want to put on someone that that's done wasted uh lebron's years you know horrible person bro i don't know moving spins this this ain't about nothing man you can't even spin back with it moving spin basic of course Moving has it, uh, uh. Moving step back, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's all the new dribble moves. So overall, I would say these are the best SIGs for um big builds. Overall, I would say these are the best SIGs for big builds that I would rock. I'm going to show you all the small builds now. And I would say these SIGs overall are the best for a small guard, okay? But I will throw on from time to time that other SIG. Uh, yeah. If y'all wanna learn to dribble or teach one of your friends to dribble, you know, link my dribble tutorial to them. It will be in the description or within the. I'm gonna tell you about why this is the best playmaking badge setup. But firstly, make sure y'all turn on post notifications and like up the goddamn video. Y'all get this video to a thousand likes and I will do a hundred dollar giveaway. This is the best, okay? I'm gonna go over this, okay? Clamp breaker, very important. Y'all might not see the animation of blowing past someone, correct? But listen, when people guard you, if you run no clamp breaker, pay attention to this right here. This is how you know it works. When someone comes to guard you who has clamps or just, just a like a good defender, you know, especially if he's compy, you're gonna find yourself not being able to get past him in like the backcourt etc you know um you don't have as much as a of like a field around you so when he he when he attaches to you you gonna be stuck and it's like it's a whole different game i feel so bad for a lot of the dribble gods and people that do not use clamp breaker bro because you're really playing a way harder game than you really have to you have to max clamp breaker bro seriously it'll change your game and you you just don't even know because you, you're probably thinking just blow by blow by but it's uh people's ability to clamp you bro you know um to body you like you you gotta have clamp breaker on of course handles for days max you can't get away with it on the bronze quick first step of course you know you gotta have that max hyper drive okay wait let let's do bell out okay bail out you gotta have it at least bronze i never bail out but it's very useful bronze you can get almost every pass off especially if you learn how to do it silver is where you really but you know if you ain't got the points you gucci but hyper drive it's very good for spin backs and all different type of it's okay right but a mo something like killer combos amazing ankle breakers dribble faster all that but the best badges that you need to focus on, okay, that are the most important in playmaking is Clamp Breaker, Quick First Step, and Unpluckable. After you get these maxed, then you can do everything else, like the Handles for Days, okay? Handles for Days will be after those three badges, and then you would want to, you know, do the Bailout, Hyper Drive, and Killer Combos, right? That's what you would want to do next. If you're not a bailout player or trying to learn how to become one, you can do without bailout. 
for some reason I, I I'm trying to become more brain dead but it's it's like hard for me you know especially since I don't play very much it's hard but yeah um hyperdrive you know I, I've rocked it with none and I, I still score 21 whenever I want killer combos <laughs> That badge is immaculate, bro. I'm trying to tell you. But you you don't really need those. So now it just goes, it, it doesn't really matter. Everything else is really personal preference. But Clamp Breaker handles for day. You know, Clamp Breaker, quick first step, unpluckable, then handles for days. Those are the top four badges, bro. Now here are my settings, man. I see a lot of y'all have trigger effect on. Please take that off in the PlayStation and in your controller settings, bro. Like figure out how to take it off. I play with random so much, I hear it. Little kids, grown men, take it off. You are ruining your gaming experience. Ooh, the guard on. And like, like for instance, another reason why I like current gen way more than next gen is the time investment, bro. You don't have to invest so much time to really see the ability of your build and experience with different badges, bro. Like, you have to core Clamp Breaker. You have to core Killer Combos. You have to core Unpluckable. You have to get all, the, you don't have to do that on current. So th think about it, 90% of players are not maxing out their builds and coring all these badges, like really finishing and getting the core option. So that's the why like current gen is a way less time investment you max out your builds faster you get to play the game faster that's why like next gen is lame bro like i don't have to core i don't have to core stuff i could just play you feel me almost everyone i know they never finish their builds bro like and to really see the real ability and then they have like 10 plus builds it's like bro you might like if you if you're really trying to have a better experience current gen is just a better game bro it might not look as good and stuff but current the gameplay is a hundred percent better right the skill gap is higher there's more comp here but you know it just don't look as clean but it's just a better experience for your time but it, it's up to you man boost you need gym rat okay now, i don't have gym rat on this build but listen you need gym rat it gives you the effects of plus four for all your physical okay or you could just do your drills but make sure you do it okay? um you need gatorade you don't have to but if you want to shoot better and dribble way better and deal with the adrenaline way better you need gatorade at least one or two of them and you gucci but they're they're, they're stealing from us you don't have to do that okay um yeah you see these physicals over there everything get the feeling of plus four like the skill boost that you buy it's no more it raises plus four anymore this is for current and next gen by check out my 2k24 videos man but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome